Adventures of the Little Prince is approved and recommended by the National Education Association. Bonjour, my friends. Do you wish to hear a very strange story, eh? Well, I am certain you know the names of all the great planets out in the sky. But did you know far out in space there is one tiny little planet called only B612? <laughs> that is true, mon ami. And this whole small world is ruled by the little prince. But of course, he is the only one who lives on his planet. So it is not so difficult to be the ruler, you see. <laughs> Still, it keeps him quite busy. He must look after three small volcanoes, one extinct. <laughs> and he waters his one rose carefully each day and watches it grow like a lovely young girl blossoming. Well, so, this is where the strange part of my story begins. One day he saw a flock of wild geese flying by. He leaped up, grasped their feet, and they flew him far off into space and back again. And zoot, can you guess what that thrilling flight did to the little prince, huh? It gave him a great desire to travel far and wide. Now he wished to fly much farther into space to visit other planets and perhaps, uh, perhaps to meet other people. He became most expert at riding the streaking comets, and soon he was making marvelous trips to strange new planets all over space. Many times he caught a comet that brought him right down here to Earth, and on one of those trips, I had the great pleasure to meet him. Ah, but that is another story I will tell you in the future, oui? Uh -huh. Just now, I wish to tell you about his very first exciting visit to Earth. He was clinging tightly to the tail of a comet that was taking him away from Mars, which I must tell you he was very happy to leave because there is nothing there, you see, but great piles of red rocks. Well, the comet zoomed straight down toward our planet very fast, and voila! He landed high in the great Andes Mountains of South America. Alor, a most fascinating new world. But of course, he had never seen such towering peaks on his small planet, and waterfalls and clear mountain lakes. <laughs> ah, but one thing even more wonderful he had never seen before. Another young fellow like himself. Hello up there. If you're not too busy, I'd like to talk to you a minute. I'd appreciate it very much. I tried to call out and warn you. Say something, please. You're a boy. See, I am a boy. Is that so strange? Then you must be a prince like me. Me, a prince? Do you rule this whole big world? You're local. You must have big volcanoes on your planet. Do you clean them every day? The only volcano around here is my Uncle Pedro. He really erupts when I go mountain climbing. Why do you try to climb such a mountain? My papa was a mountain climber. All his life he tried to reach the top of that one. Did he? No, but he died trying. Now I will do it for him. I'm going to try again right now. Carlos! Where is that boy? Carlos! Somebody! Hurry! I need help! It's a big monster! Look out! It's only Uncle Pedro trying to fly his balloon again. He'll never do it. Well, he must want to fly very badly if he keeps trying so hard. Because he can't climb mountains anymore. He's calling for help! Come on! No! Well, I'm going. It won't do any good. I can't hold it down! Somebody help me! It's going to catch on fire! Something's gone wrong with the gasket! Andale! 
I'd like to help, sir. Eh? Well, I don't know who you are, but if you can help, get in here, pronto. Yes, sir. Get me a big wrench from that toolbox. This it? No, wrong one. Like this? See, si, that's the one. I hope you can fix it. Muchas gracias, little one. You're a lot more help than Carlos. Caramba! I don't think I caught it in time. What will happen? See, it always happens. Uh, now I have to start all over again. That's good. Never give up. Whoa, you hit hard for such a little one. And my leg is not so strong. Sorry, I forgot. Your cane. Gracias. If I only had help. Please let me be your helper. I know all about flying. It's the only way I'll ever get to the mountaintops now. Once I used to climb with my brother. Well, one day we both fell. He was killed, and now I have this bad leg. Then we'll fly. You've given me new hope, little one. Who are you? Where do you come from? It's an awful long story. Are these all your flights? No, they're for all the times I failed. And now one more failure. But I think that is the last one. We'll rebuild this old balloon and take it higher than eagles fly, eh, amigo? Are you afraid to fly that high, amigo? Oh, no. I just flew all the way down from Mars today. That is a fairy tale. Mars? Ha <laughs> ha! But it's true. I catch flaming comets and fly all over space. The wild geese pull me up into the sky so I can catch the comets when they streak by. Then I go to wonderful places all over the universe. I've seen spiral galaxies and strange alien planets and even great black holes. Most of the time I enter the Milky Way and I come down here to your world. I think I like it best of all. I meet such good new friends and... Have such exciting. Whoa. Hi, tell me more of that fairy tale, eh? Amigo? Pedro! Carlos is gone all night! Pedro! Huh? What is it, Maria? What is all this shouting about Carlos? Carlos did not come home last night, Pedro. I am worried. He is wild for mountain climbing like his father. Poor muchacho. I'll find Carlos. I know where he was going. Any sign of the boy, amigo? There is no stopping him. He is determined to climb that mountain where his father and I failed. Who knows? He may be halfway to the top by now. You could help him get to the top of the mountain. But my leg. You don't need good legs to fly your balloon. See, si, maybe. I know you can do it. With your help, amigo. Muy bueno. This time I know it's going to fly. Up to Mars. Amigo, you must forget all this talk of Mars. There is nothing there but rocks. I know. I was there. <laughs> you are a strange one, but a good one. Now, hop in and let us take off. Pedro, wait. 
I pick some food and be careful, Pedro. Falling from a balloon is much higher than a mountain. Nothing to worry, Maria. I have my good luck charm now, the little one here. We will find Carlos and all return safe. I picked these wildflowers. When we reach the top of the mountain, I will scatter them in a big cross up there. Gracias, Maria. And no worry, vida mia. Buena suerte and fly like the birds. Here we go. Like a bird. Adios! Bye! Adios, Maria! Don't worry, Maria. We won't go to Mars or even Venus. But I could show you how to get there. Let's just make it over the mountains this time, eh, amigo? Running into a bad wind, amigo. Take care. I'm all right, but what about Carlos? He is a strong one, and he knows the ways of these mountains. Then we have nothing to worry about, have we? Ah, little one, we're still a long way from the mountain, and we have to get over that deep canyon. Bad wind currents could pull us down, and this is the first time I've ever flown my balloon. You'll make it, I know. I, I wish I had your faith, amigo. I tried, Papa. Poor Carlos has fallen into a perilous situation, but... Do not fear, mon ami. The little prince with his remarkable powers will soon rescue him. The little prince has undertaken a perilous journey to find his small friend Carlos. That poor boy is trapped in a high mountain ledge in the mighty Andes, and the cold, cruel winds are blowing very hard. Will the little prince be able to see the boy from so high up in a balloon? Ah, if he can fly on the tail of a comet all the way from his small planet in space and find Earth, surely he will find Carlos, don't you think? We. Oui? I'm going to call. Carlos probably went much farther, but who knows? Carlos, can you hear me? Look up in the sky! Wave your arms! That is the mighty one. Carlos' father and I almost got to the top before the accident. I pray Carlos does not fail. Do you see any sign of him, eh? Nothing yet. Yes, now I see him. He's lying high on a rocky ledge. Let me see. It is not Carlos. Only his backpack that is fallen. It is very risky, but I see no other way. He can't be far from his backpack. Look hard, amigo. He could be above or below the backpack. I'm sure I see him. 
team on a ledge this time. It is, Carlos. Muy bueno. How to win, amigo. I think I hear voices coming from the sky. We're up here, Carlos. The balloon up in the sky. Look hard through the clouds, Carlos. This way, up high. It's Uncle Pedro's balloon. Hola! He sees us. Tie it tightly to your wrist. Hurry, Carlos. We can't hang here forever. The strong wind can blow us away. We'll pull you into the basket. I said I will get to the top of the mountain, and I will. Sure you will, and a lot faster in this balloon. There's more than one way to do a thing, you know. Your papa would have loved to get to the mountain top in a balloon like this. Only I didn't have one, eh? No, papa wanted to climb this mountain. He told me! Why? I don't know why, but he wanted to! Listen, you lost your backpack and your rope. You can't go on. Let us help you. Maldito! You want to help me so much? Bring another climbing rope, see? Come on, Carlos. I'll tell you how I fly to other planets. I am not getting in that thing! And I don't think you know anything about flying to other planets. That's loco! You didn't believe your uncle would ever fly this balloon, either. Listen to the little one, Carlos. I think he comes to us from above. High above. Well, I'll get him. His pants are strong, por favor. This is worse than climbing. Put me down. I must pull very carefully. With all his kicking, he will break loose from the hook. Ah, but then you are here. A good luck charm, eh, amigo? I put me down. Just a little more. A little more. There, <sighs> it is done. <sighs> now you can go to the top of the mountain and higher. A lot of men have climbed to the top, maybe, but you'll be the first one to float over it in a balloon. A balloon is okay, but I want to climb. Well, maybe you will one day. Muchacho, your papa was not only interested in mountain climbing. Could you believe once we talked about flying a balloon like this together? No, papa was strong. He liked to do things to show how strong he was. What good is just being strong? An elephant is strong, but he can't fly like this. That is loco talk. What happened? The balloon is caught in the walls of the canyon. I'll try to shake it loose. If the balloon breaks, we'll have an awful long way to fall. And that river looks cold and deep. We have to let some air out of the bag. You open the air vent, I'll trim the burners. Cool! Say 
safe now, and once again the little one was our lucky charm. On to the mountain! I laughed at you, little one, when you said you had been to Mars and Venus and other places far off in space, but now I believe. Tell me, where do you come from, eh, amigo? My world is called Planet B612. It's very small, but very nice. Soon we will come to the mountain. You know? See, si, tío. These are for you. Why for me? To scatter where your papa fell. It is a great honor. It is only right. Your papa would be very proud of you today, muchacho. It doesn't matter how you get to the top, does it? You can get to the top of different things in many ways, Carlos. One of the best ways is to do it with others, to help someone close to you, someone you love to get to the top. Get ready. Throw the flowers, Carlos. They'll make your father's mountain beautiful. Now? See, si. throw the flowers, Carlos. It is sad. Why couldn't Papa be here to see this? He will see it and be proud. It is a big day for me too, muchacho. It has brought us close together at last. You have a wonderful chance to do things together in your world. There's so many of you. It's one thing I miss on my little planet. There's only me. Well, so that was the little prince's first visit to Earth. He was most fascinated, and he made up his mind that he would come back very soon as he caught a passing comet that would fly him away to another planet in a far distant galaxy. You will join us for his next adventure, we oui? A bientôt! Say